So that was your Chelsea week, squeezed into about 30 seconds. Pretty impressive, as is Mason Mount, who we seem to be featuring pretty much every week on this show. Let's start with the football and Hull. Our coverage began with pre-match at the bridge, Mr Cundy. Yes, indeed. Um, totally unprofessional. It um, wasn't just about uh, Chelsea Hull, though, was it? No, it wasn't. Just over the top of your shoulder, I can see the big main screen here um, in uh, the shed upper. And a penalty was given to Burnley. You think to yourself, OK, this is brilliant. Amazing stuff. Arsenal got to drop points. Typical Arsenal. Well, they got a lucky winner towards the end with an offside goal. But listen, it's only Arsenal that's tucked in behind us. I'd rather them than any other club. In terms of the match itself, of course, it was overshadowed by the incident down there in Involving Gary Cahill and Ryan Mason. Thankfully, it seems like you know that's going to have a, at least, a, in relative terms, some yeah. form of happy ending. Yes, but, indeed. I mean, yeah, we're it all kind of made everybody forget about the football. Didn't he was. It? He was down for a long time, the boy. And of course, first and foremost, it does uh, put things in perspective. But glad that he's on the mend, and everyone here at Chelsea Football Club wishes him a speedy recovery. Uh, in terms of on the field, not not a classic performance, no. but enough. I tell you what, they they actually done well Hull. I thought they came in with a really good game plan. They made life incredibly difficult. They're incredibly tight at the back and it took a while for us to, to break them down but getting the first goal in every football match is key. Another assist there for Cesc Fabregas who came on and was 24 for 24. Every pass he attempted found a blue shirt. That is very impressive although we shouldn't be surprised because as you know he is the pass master. Every time I give an assist or I score, since I'm little, I always prefer the feeling that the assist gave me. It's very instinctive because sometimes you don't have time to think. It just happens. Every time I look up, they just feel confident that they will get the ball. And you can see the whole of that show premiering from the 2nd of February across all the platforms, Chelsea TV, and online and that of course is in the build-up to the Arsenal game here where Cesc will be wearing his magic hat and assisting goals against the Gooners. Now let's see what the cameras have picked up at Cobham this week and basically it's magic. And uh, more magic, Diego Costa. How many people can do that and score with that part of the body? It's Coxix. There he goes. Yeah, good first touch. Second. Diego Coxix. <laughs> um, yeah, he puts it away quite nicely. He's taking the mick though, isn't he, a little bit? That's the men at training. Uh, now, what about the ladies? Well, they've been doing something a little bit different. So you don't always do football specific training for football anecdote well um pre-season i was only well, i was about 17 uh, at the time we went to aberystwyth it's got a big beach and it's got a lot of sand dunes these sand dunes are the size of the stands here they're that big they're that huge and uh, frank sinclair got to the top one year and your legs go faster than your, your arms and legs can actually carry you and eventually frank sinclair toppled over and he literally went like head over heel right down to the bottom of the sand dune. So um, all good stuff. Uh, forget that. It's now time for Game of Loans. Let's start with Izzy Brown, who was at Rotherham first half of the season. Huddersfield with Casey Palmer for the second. He has scored in a win over Ipswich. So well done him. Marco Van Hinkle scored again for PSV. Well done for Keo Tamori, by the way, for getting his first loan spell. And what a loan spell it is. He's gone to Brighton, who are right in the thick of that title race with Newcastle in the Championship. And there's also a nice piece you might want to check out online about Jamal Blackman, who's having a stellar season between the posts for Wickham. They're in brilliant form as they try for their own promotion push. And that is pretty much... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's no town he's wearing! No. Have you ever wondered what footballers do with all their spare time? Well, we know what William does because we've seen him at home playing the guitar and stuff before. 
now he's there, he just has his mates over and they have a little, I don't know, now he's on drums, Jason. Yeah, he is on drums, isn't he? I mean, I'm thinking more about the swimming pool behind him, I'm totally honest, that looks a great ball. Uh, Thibaut Courtois posted this uh, just a couple of nights ago, team meal. Uh, you've had some experience with one of them yeah, before? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure the modern day footballer now, when he goes out for a team meal, doesn't drink three or four pints of lager and you know sink a couple of uh, glasses of wine. Erling Jonsson and Gordon Jury went out for a team bonding meal, ended up having a rup, right? In the restaurant? In the restaurant. Erling Jonsson wasn't happy with something that uh, Gordon Jury said, jukebox gets up and they all started from the scuffle, but I'm pretty sure there was no scuffling going on in this particular meal. Right, FA Cup this weekend, which brings us to, on this day, 20 years, would you believe, the 4-2 against Liverpool here, one of the most extraordinary matches there ever was. Liverpool two up and then the Mark Hughes substitution and the transformation and we all know what followed, Chelsea's first silverware for a generation. But this weekend, Jase, it is Brentford. It is the Bees, West London derby. Um, on Which the... only just emerged from four years ago when Rafa was in charge, needed That's a right. replay. Yeah, I mean, we were, we were struggling. 2-2 two, two over there and then a bit easier part. back here. They'll come here, they'll be packing out um, the stand where we're sitting right now. We expect some changes, whoever we field should be enough to beat Brentford, but there's that gives them a little bit of a squeak, a bit of an opportunity, but every single player has got to be at it. Betting partner William Hill has this for this week's bet. 2-0 the Chelsea scoreline, if you fancy a bit of that. It will be memorable, I'm sure, Jason, Josh McEachran. Josh McEachran, yeah, I coached young Josh, 10-11 um, was I first saw him. If I get a chance to see him, um, it'll be great to say hello again. Looking forward to seeing him here later on. Today is also, by the way, Chinese New Year, as I'm sure you're aware. It is the year of the rooster, and that is something we've been celebrating with the players. Goodbye for now.